Good morning. It's day five in Iceland. It's our last day, last full day in Iceland. And this morning we're going to be exploring a little bit of Reykjavik. We're both on the hunt for an Icelandic wool sweater. It has a special name which will be on the screen that I've forgotten. But we both really want them. They're really meant to be like this amazing wool and they all look really cool and yeah we just really want them so we're gonna go shopping for those hopefully we get some and then later in the afternoon we're going to be driving the golden circle which is like this famous self-drive route <coughs> that leaves from Reykjavik and it goes around and returns back to Reykjavik and I think if you drive it non-stop it takes three hours but with stops and stuff, it's anywhere between like five to six or so, depending on how long you stay at each stop. But that's our plans for today, so let's go. <laughs> oh, look at this big Thor in his cool Viking shop. It's called Thor. Look at these funky rocks in the middle of the road. They look like a bus going by. They look like the waterfall thingy that we went to. Yeah, isn't that nice? I got something too. You'll see it today when we're wearing it. Alright, we're finally at our car. Uh, we're about to hit the road and go on this golden circle. Uh, first, we're going to see if we can find some food, maybe, because I'm a little bit hungry. So we're waiting in a super busy line for hot dogs. Apparently, it's really popular. It looks really popular. So this is the Icelandic hot dog. I think it's made from lamb, or it's got lamb in it, and it's got the brown stuff is mustard, she said, and mayonnaise is the yellowy stuff, <laughs> and there's like fried onions, and apparently it's really popular that stand. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. That's really good. Mayonnaise and mustard is an awesome combination. Yeah, I've never had it before. Mmm. And fried onions. That's really good. I like Icelandic hot dogs, I think. Mmm. We're at this visitor center, and I'm not actually sure what we do here. I had to pay to park just to get in, because it scans you in and out. So I'm a bit annoyed at that, because I don't know what I'm actually doing at this visitor center while we're out here. So that's 750 Icelandic Corona just gone. But hopefully there's something here. I think it's like some hikes or something, but I don't know how long I'm actually going to hike for because there's so many other things to see, but... Uh. Okay, so we figured out what this is. It's like a national park that you can do some short walks around. So we're probably going to do that. Um, going to get a nice little view first. We're trying to figure out what walks we're going to do. Excuse my hair, it's an absolute mess as well. She would wind and... I don't know, my hair's so... Turn on the sweaters. Turn on the sweaters, yeah, that didn't help. Here's our view of the national park. I think that's the biggest lake in all of Iceland. So we're not sure whether this is the spot, but this meant to be like a rift between like the Eurasian plate and the North American plate, um, like the tectonic plates. There's like a rift here in Iceland, so Iceland has both Eurasian and North American plates, and we think this is it. It's not really well signed about what it is, but we think this is it. Maybe that's the rift thingy? I'm not exactly sure. Okay, so I think this is called All Thingy National Park. Or El Thingy National Park. And I think I said that right. And apparently this is where the Icelandic Parliament thing was founded. In like 900 and something CE. I don't know the years. But, um, Iceland fun fact, it's one of the oldest parliaments in the world because it still runs today. The old thing, or the old thing or something. Iceland fun fact. geyser now which is obviously a geyser um, that's just what it's called so it is a geyser but it's called geyser and the fun fact there is the word geyser actually comes from this one in particular because it was just called that so now every geyser 
comes from that thing. I'm really failing it's, to explain that. Hopefully that made sense. I'm not gonna retry that. That's not my third take on that. Basically, the word geyser is an Icelandic or Scandinavian word, and then it went into English as geyser as well. Yeah, but this one's just called geyser. But it's spelled like G E Y S I R, not E R. It is in English. I don't know. I don't know. And you guys are realizing how hard it is to get this thing to be on camera because it doesn't go off as often as you think. It says every 8 to 10 minutes, but one went off after like 3 minutes, the other one went off after 6 minutes, so you just don't know. And we don't want to like kill the battery just waiting this whole time, because it gets uncomfortable. So, it's actually quite a lot harder than you think. I can't see anything. It's so foggy. It smells so sulfuric. It smells like eggs. So I think this big guy is Geyser. And he doesn't go off. He only goes off with earthquakes, I believe. I think the last one was in 2000. It went off. But pretty sure this is the guy. He's pretty big. That's the geyser. Pulled over on the side, the side of the road and we found some horses and the lady was nice enough to give us a little treat for the horse. <laughs> so cool. We're at this place called Gullfoss. Foss we learned was like waterfall. So it must be gull waterfall type thing. Anyway, it's a massive waterfall and we're supposed to have a look at it. Maybe it's because of the little fuzzy thing on our camera or something. Or maybe it's because we just look like expert photographers. But we always keep getting asked to take photos of people at places. Uh, we're gonna get wet walking across to get close to the waterfall. You bought your rain jacket, you're smart. Waterfall so massive, like it's so wide and also so steep. There's like multiple waterfall parts. It's probably the second coolest waterfall. No, it's probably the coolest waterfall in Iceland I've seen. I like the other one, the second one we went to on the second day, but this one's cooler because it's so like wide and I've never seen a river flow so strong before. We're at Kerid Crater, just a big old crater thingy here, and it says it was formed six and a half thousand years ago. And there's all this other information that I didn't quite understand. It's something about it used to being classified as some other crater, and I don't know. Apparently, lava came out of here and formed this crater as it compressed or something, and now there's water in it. It's so blue. Ooh, there is water in it. Ooh, look at that. Look how red the soil is around here too. And that's the crater. This must be the small part of Iceland that's actually covered in some forest. Or it's new forest. Apparently they've been replanting some. It looks really cool out here.
is actually my first beer here in Iceland. Viking. Mm. I'm right this burger place because we're really hungry. We keep eating really late here. Right, you're gonna sip the beer? Okay, you do the beer sip. So we're at Bar. Seems like burgers and like beer and bar. I don't know. Burger seems to be the main thing. No, pretty good. Not pretty cheap as well. Actually, surprisingly cheap. So we're now leaving Iceland and we're heading to Chicago today. Look at that. Percy's coming to Chicago with us. Dear passengers, welcome to Chicago. The local time here is seven, seven minutes past six. Okay, we timed up to head. We are now in a completely different continent. We are in Chicago. We didn't vlog anything because all we did from Reykjavik was go to the airport and get on a plane. It was a six hour flight. Nothing exciting happened in all of that time. Got into Chicago at about 6 p.m. Uh, we caught half a game of baseball because why not? We're staying right near Wrigley Field. Uh, we'll vlog the baseball tomorrow when we're actually able to a full game and whatnot. So yeah, our next lot of vlogs are going to be here in America with um, Chicago and San Francisco. And then after that we'll be on to Korea. We hope to see you guys in um, our future vlogs here. Um, thank you for watching. Bye.